What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor, SafeNBAMT.com. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout and stop getting scammed by NBA 2K's pack odds. Hit them up right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we are going over the best snipe filters in this game to help me you make a lot of MT. I'm gonna show you what I've been investing in, what has been working out, and all that good stuff. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to sub it up, comment down below. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated, man. Any comments down below will be uh, answered. And also, if you guys need MT, hit me up. I am buying and selling MT. So, guys, today. We are going over the market, man. Um, I was looking at one thing, and um, I've been noticing late at night. I actually just did get Kareem. I got him for 470k. Yes, I probably won't make profit after reduction, but I think that I got him for a very, very good price. And just for proof, um, here he is. Um, so I have him, and I have Giannis. As you guys know, I pulled Giannis again yesterday. So I ended up selling my Giannis and getting Kareem. So I just want to start off with that, and I am gonna grind for XP this season. Because honestly, bro, the only way, in my opinion, this game is fun is by grinding XP. Don't ask me why or how, whatever. I enjoy grinding XP. Um, I don't know why this... I couldn't grind XP last season or the season before because I did get banned. But we are back, and I'm going to start grinding XP. But anyways, now we are going to get into these snipe filters. So, um, one snipe filter that has worked out, and honestly, I did make a pretty good amount of MT off it, is Galaxy Oval Cheapest. Um... The players I made MT off so far were probably Chris Paul. I only I didn't make that much MT off of him, but I was consistently sniping out Chris Pauls for low 70s, selling them for around 85, 86. So if you do the math, I don't know, that's like 5k per Chris Paul. I have one Chris Paul left, waiting for him to go up a little bit more. I think Chris Paul is a very, very good player. I think he's one of the best point guards in the game. He is short, that does kind of ruin it, but yeah, that's the only reasoning. That's why I think the only the, the downside of Chris Paul <coughs> is obviously him being small. And why is that? Um, because there's literally OP point guards that are like 6'8 or 6'9, like Ben Simmons, bro. Um, so let's go over it. So who do I invest in this weekend? Uh, I'm going to go over Lamar Odom. But I think Galaxy Opal cheapest filter is definitely a method. Um, let's go over Mr. Lamar Odom because he went up a ton. He's already at 45K. He was at 30K on Friday. So if you guys did invest, I invested in about four of him. Sold one for 50K yesterday because he had the shoe. The shoe. Um, so, so far, Lamar Odom, man, definitely one of the key investments. I wouldn't say Snipe Filter, but I would say one of the key investments. Another filter or player that I invested in that I told you guys to invest in is Malik Sealy. Um, I got him for around 12k. Not the biggest profit yet, but as you can see, his price is slowly going up. He was at 10k yesterday. So, that's pretty interesting to me. Should be pretty interesting to you. Now, we're going to get into more Snipe Filters. Alrighty, yo, here we go. So... We're going over the pink diamond cheapest filter. One of the best night filters in the game. Super slept on. Um, I've been looking at this filter because I believe, I, I know some of you guys probably won't believe, but I believe Mark Eaton will go up to 14-ish K. Um, not only that, there is just so many pink diamonds that you can invest in. Why do I think he's going to go up? Well, because if you have Mark Eaton on the bench you're, and you're versing Yao or Kareem, you're going to need someone pretty tall to call Kareem. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I think Mark Eaton, Mark Eaton with that 99 defense, the decent speed, the 99 block, the 74 height, he's definitely going to stop those amazing centers down low. Um, yes, he's not the quickest guy, but I think that this card is going to go up in value. And I think this snipe filter in general is pretty solid. He has a 77 speed at 74. That's pretty solid for 9K. I think this card will rise. I think you have to get him for eight, uh, 8,500 and or lower though, just to be, be sure. Um, but right now, this filter is pretty goaded. There's a lot of pink diamonds that are very, very good on here. Uh, Dwayne Wade's one of them. There's a lot of pink diamonds that are still like 40k. Tracy McGrady's another one. Uh, Lamar Odom, Malik Sealy. This filter is pretty damn good. You just got to know who exactly you are looking for. But yeah, definitely one of the better snipe filters in the game. Now we're going to go over to the next one. It's Diamond Cheapest, man. As you guys know, snipe filters have been getting ruined by new car drops and stuff. That's the only reasoning, like, why I'm having it. I, I like the lower tier snipe filters, in my opinion. But Diamond, um, Darius Miles was a good investment. I didn't think he would be one, but he's up a lot. Um, but, yo, 4,200 for that AD. You know what? That looks like a snag to me. I'm not totally sure. We're going to check that out. Uh, I think it might be a snag. I hope it's a snag. Anthony Davis. 
um 4800 4200 all right look so we just got an anthony davis we're not gonna make that much mt i don't think but all right we got him for 42 we're gonna sell him for 54 i'm gonna take that w we're gonna make around 600k so now this is how it starts this is how you make mt this is how it starts and all those investments in my collection yes i have a lot of investments thousands of hundreds of thousands of investments and uh, we just got that ad sell for 53 we're gonna make like 500 mt after the reduction a little bit more than that so that's pretty fire um that's a snipe filter i definitely prove and dark matter man if you could get a dark matter snipe you are literally in gold okay um any dark matter that pops up you're gonna make at least 200k profit so you could try out this snipe filter chances are you would have to wait maybe 10 hours to get a snipe or just get really lucky refresh and snipe it um only problem is with this knife filter it is probably one of the hardest knife filters to sit on and if you do miss one it's pretty much like the most rage inducing thing ever um but i truly 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 believe this uh, this knife filter will be a lot easier to snipe at and i would say about two three weeks um they're probably gonna release around 10 more dark matters within a month so with 10 more dark matters coming i think this snipe filter is definitely gonna be one of the best ones it's gonna be a lot easier to snipe like the galaxy Opal snipe filter last year man that snipe filter was so fire even in the beginning um uh, but now i think dark matters are really hard to pull because i have literally pulled so many i mean i have pulled none and i probably pulled like three million packs since they dropped so i don't know this snipe filter is interesting if you do get a snipe you make so much mc but if you don't get a snipe it kind of does suck um, but yeah, this is definitely the best snipe filter profit margin wise. It's just not consistent. And uh, here is the most consistent snipe filter in the game that will make you boatloads and boatloads of MT with wait time, though. That's a good snipe. Oh, missed it. All right. Um, MPJ for 1250. That is a pretty decent snipe, I believe. Michael Porter Jr. Amethyst is, uh, yeah, the Amethyst filter goes absolutely insane. Uh, I'm telling you right now, it is the best snipe filter in the game. I've made so much MT. So. We got him for like 1250 all right he's going for 1700 and then he's going for 18 and then 19 so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hold this mpj and he's gonna go up to 25 because as you guys know the market is still crashed um but yo there is just so many snipe filters right now the amethyst filter is definitely the best i've been sniping out so many cards like the aaron fox sleepy floyd dirk no whiskey um if you guys didn't know two weeks ago bro they dropped super packs or maybe even uh, was it this week no i think it was i think it was this week or last week they dropped super packs man and in the beginning bro amethyst were mad expensive because they didn't really drop any fire packs for anyone to pop so the amethyst were at an all-time high i was getting sleepy floyds and dirk nowitzki's for 1000 i sold one dirk for 14,000, sold another dirk for 12,000, sold a sleepy floyd for 10k i made 30k in one minute all sniping amethyst sometimes you get lucky and some amethysts are going for four or five k if you're making three to four to five k per minute that's easy cash and yes they do sell pretty quickly it's because especially current day players like good amethyst current day players people are gonna buy them like that amethyst zach levine is a perfect example bro one of the cards that is really goaded very cheap and everybody wants because zach levine who doesn't want a good amethyst card for the low you know so that's a perfect example but yeah other than that these are the best snipe filters in the game let me know what you guys think if you have any like certain galaxy opal snipe filters any enabled filters that i should know of, please let me know down below in the comments because i would love to know myself but yo other than that that is all we got for the video hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for more content i'm gonna just show you my investors for now um yeah i invested i'm gonna make a lot off this guy i got him for 75 he's at 96 right now i have another chris paul left uh, I just have a ton and a ton of investments. I have a Lamar Odom and a Malik Sealy in my collection as well. Um, yeah, but uh, pretty much that's all we got for the vid. And also, one more before I go. Make sure to keep your eye on this pink diamond Ben Simmons because his price goes up and down consistently. And right now is not a good time to invest. But a couple weeks ago, he was at freaking 60K. He's at 80K right now. This card goes up and down consistently. He was maybe even like high 50s. You gotta pay attention to this card. This card's a moneymaker. Same with Diamond Zion. But yo, that's all we got for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good one. Peace.